Italian leader Silvio Berlusconi has warned that the country could be plunged into economic crisis if he loses a crucial confidence vote tomorrow. Mr Berlusconi urged rebel deputies to rally behind him, claiming it would be madness to initiate a crisis. He may win the support of the Senate, but in the lower house he's expected to be extremely close. Months of party infighting, corruption and sex scandals have left the ruling coalition in tatters and Berlusconi without a majority, as Katie Razzle now reports. Is it possible that after tomorrow's no-confidence vote, there'll be no more of this? Silvio Berlusconi's often deeply embarrassing version of statesmanship. The Italian Prime Minister hasn't been short of confidence on the international stage, keeping arguably the most powerful European leader waiting while he finished a call, just one example. Today, Mr Berlusconi looked relaxed ahead of his speech to the Italian Senate or Upper House. Both houses will vote tomorrow on whether to sink his foundering government. Don't, he told senators today. Opening up a crisis now, given the state of the Italian economy, would be folly. We need decision-making ability. We need anything but a blind crisis without any real alternative to the present political team. I cannot understand the reasoning of those who want to start a government crisis at any cost. Mr Berlusconi is likely to win the Senate. The lower house, presided over by this man, Gianfranco Fini, the former neo-fascist and ex-ally of the Prime Minister who triggered the vote, reportedly too close to call. There have been allegations parliamentarians have been offered money to vote for Berlusconi tomorrow. A suggestion that the decision could rest on whether three heavily pregnant opposition MPs can attend. The irony, if Mr Berlusconi loses, it may not signal the end. Despite the, the level of crisis, the only person who wants uh, elections, really, is Mr Berlusconi. He's the only one who, who is really insisting that if his government falls, there should be early elections. The official opposition doesn't want elections. It's divided. His close, his former close ally, Gianfranco Fini, they don't want elections because they know that Mr Berlusconi can still win. The endless stories of sex with young women are how many of us know Mr Berlusconi. This 18-year-old former belly dancer said she was given money, jewellery and a sports car to attend orgies with the 74-year-old. The fame's given her a lucrative new career opening nightclubs. But in fact, the scandals have been far less high profile in Italy, where the Prime Minister owns or controls many of the TV channels. He's denied the kiss and tell stories from prostitutes and escort girls. Whether they'll sink him, an unknown. Tomorrow's votes may be the most serious challenge Mr Berlusconi has faced in 16 years. But he's a great survivor. He's also, opponents say, desperate for the immunity from prosecution afforded by his position of government power. Katie Razzle.